Alright, good afternoon everyone, and welcome back to more Slay the Spire. If you've been keeping up with the series, you've noticed I have lost a lot as the good old Ironclad here. So rather than give you more defeats there, we'll play uh, some more of the Silent here today and try and seek out some on-camera victories. Uh, another try, yes please. Uh, try and seek out some more victories here. So let's take a look at what we got. A random common relic. Hmm. That could be anything, yeah? Uh, losing two cards early from the initial deck could also be very, very good. So we can start building up around cards that we do want to get. But I think we'll actually just take the, uh, we'll take a random common relic here. And the, mar th you know, that's a common relic, but that is a good common relic to have. Vulnerability is nothing to scoff at. And <coughs> I will never stop coughing probably say it every time. This is a very narrow map actually. Narrow since everything clusters together here in the center, but we still have four paths. And hmm, what gives us the most value for shops and potential encounters for more trinkets? We got an early shop here, or we could take this left path. A bunch of combat. Just, just actually endless combat till we get to that elite. The fireplace elite. Treasure, and then we get a shop. There's, there's not a lot of shop action here. Hmm. It's tough. So maybe what we do is we take this path here, we bend around, hit the question marks, go through the center, hit two more, get a chest, and a shop towards the end. We won't fight any elites though, which might set us back. We'll start here. It'll give us some diversity on uh, our initial choice as well as the splitting path in the middle. And give me that vulnerability, thank you very much. I'll also make you weaker, because it's free. Slice of our 9 off the bat is a wonderful feeling. I'll gladly take the 4 damage in exchange just to sort of get through this guy a little quicker while we have the moment. Excellent time to draw Survivor. Another 12 damage. And deck's getting reshuffled here, small deck, so we have a good chance of drawing the 3 damages we need to finish him off. Ooh. We don't have enough to finish him off because we are weakened. So we will block one. Because there is still potential damage in the deck. Just, just so we can reduce how much damage this early fight's actually gonna do to us. And it's looking like four right now. Uh, okay, excellent. We could have uh, had a little bit of trouble there, but fight's done. So yeah. How's everyone going? Glad you're watching. GDQ is going on right now. I decided to take a step away from one of the runs I did not feel like watching and you know, play little games myself instead of watching people speed run through them. I love flying me. I'll take it. So I'm taking a break. I believe right now Infamous First Light's going to be on, so maybe I might catch the tail end of it after I do some recording here for this game. Because you know. I was never really into the Infamous series, uh, especially like starting back in like 08 when that initial one came out. But, uh,. I also wanted to do something. I mean, I love watching the, the GDQs, but I also... I can only watch for so long before I need to, like, get around and do something. Um, burst. This turn, your next skill is played twice. <coughs> so skills are blocks. So this could become good much later, and we can't afford any relics, sadly. We did want shops. Will we have more opportunity to shop later? Yes, if we feel like fighting an elite. And, you know, this map layout is just not that good. We will have a shop towards the end that I would like to save up for relics. But maybe... Maybe it's worth getting a little AoE guaranteed right now while the game's offering it to us. Rather than miss out and have to deal with it later. And hey, this would be a good time to draw that new card I just purchased. It would have been a good time to draw that new card that I had just purchased, but that's okay. So we can strike this one twice to finish him off. This guy's only going to do 5 damage, so we can just block and move on. He's going to give us a bit of the corrosive sprit. Sprit? A <laughs> corrosive spit. Oh, give him the flying knee, dagger throw, defend because we can, toss it away. Early game slimes don't fear me. I'm uh, just trying to think of words to fill with the uh, early combat here to, you know, it's, it's a slime. You know how the slime fight's going to go, I assume. 
we have enough damage. Yeah, so far GDPQ has been good. I think I saw a few runs I liked. I saw this platoon that was good and crashed. So literally the only the first two runs I've seen have been wonderful to watch. Definitely if you get a chance you want to go take a peek at those, you should. Uh, Bouncing Flask is nice and it's a more expensive card that we can use to get our deck a little thicker for later. I think we're going to deviate to the left path here, hit the question mark, see what happens, and maybe fight that elite if we're in a good spot. Um... No, I, I don't want your services, Cleric. What kind of Cleric are you that would charge someone in need of assistance? Well, not a very good Cleric. Excellent starting turn. Extra energy. 12 damage. And strike. This guy's already below half health on the first turn. Mind you, we only have you know, little damage types available left in the deck. This guy's not going to stack up enough to become a threat. In fact, get neutralized. Get poisoned. Get stricken. Get blocked. Extra energy from the flying knee coming in handy early on here. And this guy's dead. Like, I just want to end my turn right now so you can just disappear. Or I'll just strike you. I don't have to worry about doing the animations of drawing out more cards there. Get a little bit of chump change. I love Leg Sweep as a defensive card. Because that block goes the extra mile because you're playing uh, weak to them as well. So that card's actually just a very key card for uh, weakening out enemies. And you know, could upgrade a card. Could upgrade a uh, block. But I think we want to take on the Elite now. And it's the, the Gremlin Knob. So the block won't go as far, but it will still it will go pretty far. And we're going to get that poison out there early because that is a skill and he will not allow us to freely play those later without hurting ourselves in the process. Roar. Getting raged. Six damage. So a single survivor stops that. And we'll play a strike and nothing else because we don't want to make him any stronger. Learn from the early game rush misplays. That's what we're doing here. Don't like being vulnerable though. Uh, don't like 24 damage either. So you're flying knee, I think. You dagger spray. So that could become a 12 damage. 18, 20. It wouldn't be enough to finish him off outright. And this would give him essentially a nine more points. This this will be the better move. Let's take a look. Especially if we can just get more strikes in our hand. And we, we have a good mix of defense and strikes coming up later, so we want to dagger throw him. If we do this, we'll get two more uh, strengths. We'll be doing 26. We'll block for 21 versus taking 24. So yes, this is a bit, this is good for now. Oh, 20. Okay, it's, it's still better, but by a margin of error of 1 there. We're going to take a lot of damage here, but that's okay. We expected to lose HP fighting the Gremlin Knob when we came here. Stop attacking me for this much, please. 6, 12, 18, 24, thanks to poison. Ooh! That was gonna get really dicey, but... I was able to burst him down quick enough to prevent that, and a Sneko Skull, it's great for the, uh, Silent, because, you know, they're the only class outside of the other one class in the game that can apply poison, and hey... Wait, what's this? This is new. If this card is a card from your hand, draw one card. Nice. I like Catalyst, though. That is a, a game-winning card for later on. Uh, if you play if you play it right, of course. I think we want to hit up that shop, and doing this path will allow us to do so. So we'll, we'll get anything here. The question marks are the grab bag. Move a card for your deck for 7 HP. I, mean, I guess you could get rid of a strike. For 7 HP, I really don't want to do that. I probably don't value a card removal as much as I should, and it, I know it's good to thin out your deck. I just, I believe there's a way those strikes are just valuable to draw into at some point. Same with the regular defense. Uh, we're going to the right here, not going to rest, because we want to, uh... Okay, you know, I, I think we might want to take what we got and run, but I'm greedy, so, uh... We're going to keep clicking until we got everything, and we didn't have to fight. That's... That's pretty lucky. And getting this relic right before chest is huge, because now we get the Centennial Puzzle and the Shovel, which is outrageously good for digging up tons of relics. Jawworm and Slime, huh? OK, 
Okay, that, that is way too much damage to be coming out this early. We need to emergency block. Um, that is an outrageous amount of damage to get get thrown at us this early. Whew. So we can block everything and do minimal damage in return, which I, I'm not liking the idea of that. So let's actually toss out a flask. Get some damage going there. And then we'll block some of the additional damage as a, as like a plus on the back end. Could have Catalyst there to speed up the process here, but we do have an AoE in the deck that'll allow us to hit the back line here for a little bit. And Lake Sweep's excellent. Not at this moment, but it is excellent. So we'll do that. So this will finish you off. And this will give us extra energy for next turn. Okay. Really aggressive first turn there. But we're going to be okay. Child Ward's going to bellow up. He's going to do 10 more damage. Uh, not what if I neutralize him. Block, block. Play, you know, the hand plays itself. Play everything. Okay. And again, early combat will be fine. We got a lot lower than we uh, would like to. and I, I feel like that's pretty common for the Silent. Not really a, a very defensive class. Well, I mean, it is a defensive class, but not a lot of a regen potential for him. Nox's Fume is excellent, and the shop should be even better. Okay. Hmm. After Image is a great card to get. Upgrade two random attacks is also good, because there's a chance it might hit the uh, additional attacks there. Chances aren't, you know, great at having that happen, but could happen nonetheless. Let's do it. You know what, that's fine. Uh, upgrading neutralizes actually, I forgot that was a human attack, is perfectly fine to have. And then we're actually going to go here, and instead of resting, we're going to dig. Hey, I'll take it. We make it through the first floor, that just becomes how much better of a trinket to have for later on. Uh, question mark, please. And tons more relics. Uh, regular enemies are no longer countered in question mark rooms. You know what? It's fine. Gain energy in the first combat. Also fine. Let's get into some combat right now. Speaking of it. This is where I want my dagger throw. I did not get it. I think you Noxus Fumes. 4, 8, 12, 16. Could remove 4 damage right now. Yes, we will attack you twice because the poison is going to do the the finisher. Am I stronger than I thought? I don't know why that killed him. Okay, uh, we will actually block the remaining damage because that's still going to be a lot coming in. But the poison is going to start ticking on here. And we are resting before the final boss fight more than likely. Just to preserve our, our precious life force. So everyone gets poisoned and ooh, leg sweep is good. That blocks all their damage, so... Yes, please. Gains one strength whenever it gets attacked. Not great. So we'll hit you in the back instead. Get energized for next turn. And take no damage this turn. Hit me all you want, you will not... You will not scare me. Don't like being weakened. Okay. Neutralize is fine. Well, he's dead. So let's neutralize you. God, I wish he was actually dead now so I can guarantee flying or uh, poison. We're going to kill you instead. Just because you're doing more damage than this guy here. And you're gonna get your damage stacked up as a result of us hitting you. So, three damage. I scoff at it, but three damage is three damage, and you're you're finished. Oh, it was a strike plus. I probably used that. That's why the uh, the guy died. So a bit of a misplay there. I need to remember I have a better strike. Second leg sweep <laughs> could be good. Applying a huge strength debuff with our early extra energy also pretty good. 
I would like to dig up another relic, but we're going to rest to guarantee this run has a chance. And we're going to fight the boss. And it's the Hexaghost, so we need to be aggressive early. This is actually fine to do as an opener. Because that's permanent weakening. Uh, not good for the long run of the fight. Because uh, he, he is just going to do damage, but hey, that's zero. You're doing zero damage for... <laughs> I'm sorry. You are nothing. And now we're going to get the poison stacked up. Up to 12 already. We'll draw the catalyst later. We can uh, inflict him for more poison. And it's just going to keep stacking. Another zero damage. That is the turn playing itself. So just like that, one card pickup before this boss fight has more or less secured the deal. I could have actually dug another relic if, if I would have uh, thought ahead for it. <coughs> There's our catalyst. Um, so that'll become 32 damage over. Yeah, that's that's fine. Because it's it's not going away. It's not taken down either. Because we're always applying two more poisons. This guy is on his own personal timer now. Uh, yes, we will absolutely poison you further. Dagger strike attack. No defense needed. This guy is dead in three turns. So yeah. Misplay on not uh, further upgrading my deck with uh, cards or relics, but hey. Didn't think it would turn out this well for the uh, first floor. So yeah, Hex Ghost is dead next turn. We, we only got one hit on us for three. Uh, no, yeah. I'm just going to throw this on him, more or less, to add time onto this video and just to watch the poison stack up. 63 on first floor is mwah, quintessentially... Amazing. And I... That's an achievement. I got the perfect achievement. What is that? Defeat a boss without taking any damage. That's how you know we're off to a good start. Adrenaline. Gain uh, energy. Draw two cards. I love it. On your next turn, your attack damage is doubled. Also good. Deal 12 damage. Discard all non-attack cards. Gonna take the adrenaline for the ability to get bigger, uh, bigger cards later on. And I love Astral Lobo. What else we got here? The Orary. Choose and add five cards to your deck. Maybe. Potions offer drops of a comp. <laughs> yeah. You put the minimal effort into speaking, and then your words just sound like a giant mush of you know gibberish, like I'm a toddler or something. Potions always drop after combat. It was is what I was trying to say there. But um, I love the Astral Lobe. I do love the Astral Lobe, but do I love it here? I choose three cards and transform them. Yeah, I'll take it. Because I can transform you, you, and you. So, definitely a lot weaker on defense now. We do have the leg sweep, which is always going to be a uh, excellent draw. Uh, looking for more card draw and energy. But for now, we're going to proceed to the next floor, actually. And yeah, we're just going to we're gonna chop it here. A bit of a quick one, again, on the first floor. Because I, I feel like we just had a really good start there. Uh, rough start, but early finish. That doesn't make any sense. You know what I mean. Uh, first floor is pretty, pretty cakewalked by now until I poorly mess up. But for now, everyone just have a, a wonderful day, evening, night, wherever you're watching this, and I'll see you next time.